for your information. After a further six hours, Task Force Davidson has in fact secured his objective for his probe. How's that for tenacity? A key requirement for the AI to be effective is that this command process has to be scalable from core to company. This is affected by using a process that spirals down both in terms of the force structure and in terms of the planning doctrine. For example, when a force is ordered to secure Town X, it will first ask, am I there yet? If so, then defend. If not, then move. If move an enemy in the way and we are strong enough, then attack, else bypass. Each of these decisions invokes the development of another plan based on the appropriate doctrine. Another key aspect is that the decision making is generic rather than scenario specific. In most other games, the scenario designer will have written certain scripts to govern the behaviour of certain units based on certain conditions occurring in that specific scenario. Such scenario specific scripting can give the semblance of a good AI. However, once you recognise the conditions and the responses, it becomes very predictable and ultimately less challenging. In Command Ops, the AI is situationally aware and develops its plan based on the situation it finds at the moment. Thus it really does the same thing twice, is less predictive and provides a greater challenge. As I mentioned earlier, command is exercised over time, the fourth dimension. In Command Ops, when a commander issues orders, it takes time for these to be transmitted to the subordinates. It then takes more time for them to assess and develop their plans and if they have subordinates then the whole process must be repeated down the line. The amount of time varies according to the level of force. Divisions take longer than brigades which take longer than battalions. It also varies according to the efficiencies of the commander and the staff at each level. Hence good commanders with good staff can get things moving a lot quicker. Also, motorised units process orders quicker than foot units. The reason for this is that they have more radios and being mobile can organise themselves a lot quicker. In this example we're going to have a look at how the differences in orders delay manifest between different forces. We're going to first have a look at the 39th Fusilier Regiment. This is a fairly low quality unit and it consists of two battalions as you can see here and if we have a look at the command values for the force for the headquarters we can see that efficiency wise it's not too bad um, staff quality is pretty good so this is not such a bad example um, but it's going to take this force approximately 70 minutes for it to cascade its orders down the line and start moving. If we select the um, the 901st this force again is a regiment consisting of Panzer Grenadier units and it's uh, a fairly good unit. If we have a look at its um, values here for its leadership we can see that its efficiency is about the same but it has excellent staff quality and efficiency and its force delay is going to be just under 50 minutes. So that's almost that's a 20 minute difference between the two forces. Now let's show that by will issue a simple defend order to this regiment and we'll have it defend in situ meaning it'll stay put where it is and similarly we'll issue the same type of order to the 39th regiment in situ and we'll run. Before we do so just note the unit information box on the 901st icon has gone pink meaning it's processing orders and what we'll see as we run is that 
once the orders have uh, been received, the force will take some time to process it at its level, then it will dispatch them down and we'll see its subordinates, um, their unit information box will turn pink as well. We'll just select this force so we can see. Now you can see the battalions here and some of the direct support companies have all gone pink because they're directly beneath the um, 901st and because of defending and it's at night they're, they're, they're going to uh, rest but in the meantime the 39th if you notice only the battalions have got it and now the companies come in so it's taken them that extra time before they actually start doing their plans we're still waiting on these companies here while everybody else has already implemented their orders The difference in efficiency doesn't have to be all that great to make a significant difference over time. If you have two battalions where one can process its orders in say 60 minutes and another in 50, if they make five decisions per day then the one that can do it in 50 is going to end the day one complete cycle ahead of their opponent. This is referred to as getting inside your opponent's decision loop. Once you can do so, you gain the initiative and your opponent is always reacting to your developments rather than the other way around. This is how you achieve surprise on the battlefield. As a commander, you need to be aware of the implications of orders delay. You need first to appreciate that it will take some time before your units will actually respond to your order. If they're currently moving and you order them to defend, then they'll continue to move till the order is processed. Because of this you must avoid issuing a series of quick fire orders to the same force. They will spend all their time processing orders. You need to issue orders sparingly. You also need to think ahead. As part of the planning process you need to identify possible developments, work out options to respond to them and the events that should trigger them. Then you need to monitor the actions looking for those triggers and then be decisive in your response. It can take a bit of getting used to, so in Command Ops you can set the amount of orders delay at the start of a scenario from none to painfully realistic. We recommend though that you start with the realistic setting. With pausable continuous time, orders delay and macro management there's quite a bit to get used to. Just keep looking at things as you would in real life. Command Ops endeavours to be as realistic as it can. I strongly recommend you go through the tutorial movies. See you then.